fix anyone's problems. Basically, I like how I you tried to yeah. act ignorant on that one. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, if you don't come off a of heroin, I'm not responsible. Uh, you know what I mean? That's his. Yeah, uh, that's his disclaimer. Legal Jesus. disclaimer. I feel in the dark here. You're saying heroin addict lives in a, or a guy who lives in a basement. Who do who do I start with? I don't know. I've encouraged clients to move back in with their parents and grandparents. Really? So Chris is yeah. off the hook. Because, so that they are financially free to like do Hells, things they need yeah. to do. Yeah. Like I like just yesterday I found out that a guy that? I used to help out uh, I had committed I had gotten him to quit a job that he hated. He moved in with a, with a family member and now he just got like this huge job doing something he loves to do. And that he's, was like, Does he have the freedom to go explore? Yeah, he he had the free, but and it only works if you use that freedom. You but know? shouldn't you try moving out first? You know, before you're encouraged to move back in. Maybe. At some point, you got to be ambitious yeah. and take a risk. I how know. long are? How long can a person be living at their home before it was a bust? And now you're oh, just that's a good question. Because mm. you know, I know people who moved home with their parents because they're like, ah, oh, it'll give me a chance to like look for a job I really like, and blah blah. blah. And years go by, and yeah. you know, there's no real pressure to get out of there because they got a free ride. You know what? If it's in New York, I don't think it's ever a problem. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah, seriously. seriously. Considering how much you'll, you'll, you'll people want to charge you two thousand dollars to live in a studio in Manhattan. You know what I mean? Right. It's, yeah. It's uh, financially, it seems like a smart thing to do. Yeah. If you're like in like uh, Elizabeth, or if you're like. <laughs> If you're, like, somewhere in the suburbs and you're still living with your family, it might be a good idea to try to bust out. So, Elizabeth, that's New Jersey. So you're yeah. saying leave Chris's living situation alone? Yeah, I don't think it's... Well, it's, it depends. Are you happy with it? Yeah. I'm totally happy with it. I don't live with my grandmother. This is the big misconception on the show. <laughs> Dude, we'll act like we're roommates and we share soap. You know what I mean? We, we, have sure totally, we live in completely separate apartments. Like, no. there's a whole floor They're not that separating separate. There's us. stairs that go in between them. That Chris, and there's a the door house. with a little There's latch a door that I lock. in front of the stairs. Yes. Yeah, no, there's a See? door. There's a door yeah. that I lock at the stairs. Yeah. Chris, yeah. whenever Chris goes into a building that has more than one level, he goes, See, they're all different apartments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have my own entrance. No, I have no, I have no problem living with it. And I'm actually, uh, it's in Diker Heights. Where's that again? Out in Brooklyn, like a little south of Park Slope. Oh, that's near Bay Ridge. A little a south little. of Park Slope. Like, uh, my ass. I live in Park Slope. <laughs> that's like near Coney Island. You're, it's not near Coney you're Island. You're at least 12 stops past Park Slope. It's near door Warm to door. Island. Door to door, it's an hour. It's one hour door. That I leave my thought. house. That's I leave my house from my house to Times Square, Forty Second Street. It's one hour. So to me, that's not that's not an issue. If he catches the express train and it comes, and yeah. everything, uh, the stars align, and also you don't count the time it takes to walk to the train. Yeah. All right. So I don't need to be coached. Next. All right. What about this guy? Wait a minute. Don't you keep quitting cigarettes and then unquitting cigarettes every time you get stressed out? No, no, not cigarettes, not cigarettes. I mean, a couple yeah, lapses with I'm, tobacco. That's happened a bunch of times, and also you've had a lot of anger issues lately. I do have anger issues. I do have anger issues. You make me angry. Andy. It's not just me. You it's not make just me, me angry. No, let's be honest. You come to me sometimes when you're angry at life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, what am I angry with life? I feel uh, like I'm not as far as I should be in my career. Oh, where do you want to be? Uh, I want to be making a living. Performing How many times do I have simple. to tell you, Chris, go up on stage, say, a gooba gooba ga, <laughs> play up how much of a ginzo you really are, and you'll be fine. And I'll be fine, yeah. It's not something I'm not willing to do, because I'm not, I mean, I'm Italian, but I'm not that Italian. <laughs> you are. <laughs> so who you are as a life coach. Shouldn't you accept who he is? So that's what makes me angry. Let's, Let's go back angry. to the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What do you think you'd have to do to get to that level? Um, I think I'd have to work five times as hard as I'm working now, so I'm aware of what the steps are. So, like, what are the things, what are, like, the sub-steps to that? Like, what would you have to, what does that mean, work harder? Oh, I